All right, hopefully this part won't have so much fail in it. Let's start uh, round 17. I was quickly move around him, fill up my claymore pile. Start gathering some zombies while I can. And um, I'll keep this gun out. It's, actually, any of these guns will work right now. It's round 17. Uh, I can blow a hole through it, through it with anything. But uh, Mustang and Sally is a good one. I like Mustang and Sally for this part because um, I can definitely blow a hole through all the zombies just un if I just unleash. And I have max mobility because it's just pistols. And whatever I kill, I'll get points off of. Where I won't get points for um for my wave gun or zap guns or whatever. And uh, with insta kills, a lot of times what I'll do is just start knifing them up as, as fast as I can while well, they're still kind of spawning in, but there aren't like all 24. You know, you only have to deal with a few of them. But if they start getting kind of thick, like right now, then you just stop and you go back to shooting. And now it's getting hairball, so. Let's just go back to running away, um, get them to train me, and having my safety guns out. So I'll do an S, S right here to scan it all, group up, make the, the line into one big bunch, thread the needle, jump through it, and then we can just shoot them up. Three knives still. Alright, I think that's the last zombie. Last two zombies. I have my hacker. I have all my weapons. Yeah, we can just uh, try to find these last zombies and finish up this level. Put my claymores in my pile over here for later. Sometimes when you, when you get into like round 40s and higher, those max ammo's they start becoming scarce. Even uh, even if you hack them up. Um. So uh, those claymores they might be like a good last resort weapon in that kind of situation because at that point it's like the waves of zombies just seem endless, and the zombies just take forever to go down by normal conventional means and also with claymores you can get drops off the zombies so uh, you can hack it and maybe get your max ammo that way as well so it's it's just one more powerful weapon in your arsenal and uh, I like to just save them up for later rounds or use them to um, help out with like this the control room uh, from excavators uh, Excavator runs. So I'm um, just gonna get the zombies away from, away from the Astro Man. Do some S turns. Get out of there. Let's, let's take all these bucket. I try to go for headshots when I have the death machine because they really do make a difference. And um, you know, the the later on the rounds that this gets, the, the the more the death machine is just like not really worth it. 
at some point, you know, in like round 30s or whatever, you might not even want to use it anymore. Because it's just not doing enough damage and it slows you down too much. But, uh, overall it's pretty awesome drop. What's last? I got this zombie, that zombie. Just going through these rounds pretty quickly. Alright, is this the last zombie? Let's check this out. Yep. Alright, so that one I really have to worry about. I'm not going to put my claymores in the pile because I want to keep them to put them in the control room. Um, round 19. What I usually do is just start trying to kill them off as fast as I can. Try not to shoot my Astro Man. He'll pop pretty easily. Because I've, I've held on to him. He's the first and only Astro Man I've had. Uh, okay, now... Still try to kill all the zombies but one crawler. So I try not to leave crawlers hanging because I want I want the zombies to spawn in. And you know, you gotta be really controlled about this though. You know, if if, if this is too much chaos for you to, to handle then you know you need to slow it down a bit. Um Like you have time, you don't have to freak out. Like I still have a couple more, um, couple more warnings before I really gotta start worrying about things. Threading the needle. Think we're getting low on zombies now. Let's see, you have plenty of time. Oh, like round 19, yeah, we still have plenty of time before uh, before we gotta wor really worry about the the biodome. So we're just um, right, you know, I am trying to get through these zombies as fast as I can. Alright, so I have one crawler. He's just chilling. I got my hacker device. I don't need to go hunt for it. This is how you do it for um for for these rounds. So see, I still have like well over a minute before I have to go and and uh, you know lose my biodome. So so this is pretty safe. Uh, with all of my experiment, that's been like. I think the best way to get through uh, the excavators on on rounds around this this time in the game. So I got one minute and I just I'm already here. But uh, your strategy will change up as you go later in rounds. Um, this will no longer be the safest thing to do, and so we'll have to change it up. And I'll show you what to do. You know, once you hit like the round 30s and whatever, when, when things start getting too hard, when there's too many zombies, to um, to to just keep one bef and still have enough time. But uh, yeah, so I have one crawl. He's somewhere out there in the biodome, or started there trying to crawl towards me, and uh, you know, so I'm totally safe going to and from the the control room and. You know, that, that's why I think this is a really good strategy. Uh, I watched a lot of other strategies in, um, 
people don't really give good strategies for the the excavators when they start coming down. So let's hack that real quick, just cause it's just it's right there. See. You. All right, so that's how you you handle the excavator rounds, you know, around your late teens, early twenties. Let's just finish the round. 